Well, Josh, Uncle Chael is very seldom correct. He's at I'm it again. I'm going to be honest. I love him. He is my friend. But he says some of the craziest stuff. But I got to admit, what he has come out with about Patty Pimlet may actually be very close to being correct. And that he says that Patty Pimlet is two fights away. Well, two victories away, let's say. Let's be honest. We're going we're gonna to help Chael along here. <laughs> two victories away from a world title fight. And that if Michael Chandler doesn't get his fight with Conor McGregor, that that would be the fight for Michael Chandler to take instead of the Conor fight would be Patty Pimlet. And Dana White just came out saying that, you know what? He believes Patty Pimlet is a superstar. So we got the, I don't know, a new bearer of the flame of the torch, Patty Pimlet being a superstar. And now Michael Chandler possibly being the guy that he would compete against. Well, wait a second. I, I guess I read okay, it. I'll wait a lot of seconds. I read it differently than you read it. You're saying that Michael Chandler and Patty Pimlet. Yes. Oh, I'm saying that if Chandler gets pushed out, Patty and Connor would be the fight. Oh, God. That's no. the fight that I thought you were saying because that there's no, no bigger fight than that. Michael Chandler and, and – no, I'm sorry, but Patty's a way bigger fight for Conor McGregor than, than Michael Chandler. Way bigger. You're you going to put so, that huh? in the U.K.? Are you are you kidding me? If you put you put that in the UK, that would be. You phenomenal. better book the biggest arena you possibly can in Wembley. So I read it stadium. wrong. I don't know. I, I don't know. I listened. I, maybe I listened to Uncle Chael completely wrong. Well, here, let me read it to you. It says Patty is two fights away. They've got to be the okay. right two fights, which basically means he needs to win, and they've got to be the yes. right two fights for him to win. But he is two fights away to fighting for a world championship. If Michael Chandler does not get the fight with Conor McGregor. This, to me, looks like a perfect replacement. I was thinking in terms of replacement for Chandler not getting the fight. Chandler's Michael Chandler can fight tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, he can. Yeah, he's just Con gonna... Connor hasn't been able to fight at all. So I think he was talking about Michael Chandler being Patty's next opponent. Bet US, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. Bet US, where the game begins. Oh, see, I, when, when I was giving you a hard time about how I think uh, Patty Pimlet subs him, I was talking about Michael Chandler. I think <sighs> Patty Pimlet is just too big for... for for uh not too big for conor mcgregor he's just too young and and vibrant right now i know we had a great performance against bobby green bobby green and and conor mcgregor are not the same guys i get it but and they're obviously you know i just i think right now patty's gonna get a big jump in confidence as if he needs any more confidence the guy just exudes confidence just comes out of his body just pours comes pours out of his his pores is the confidence. The guy's an animal, man. Like, and I'm looking forward to seeing him. I do think they need to slow play him. Two proper fights, as they would say in the UK. Two proper, proper. proper fights. I think if he gets two proper fights, that there is a chance for him to fight for the title. I don't think the Michael Chandler fight is a good fight for him just yet. I don't think so. But the Connor fight. But you fight, think the McGregor fight is? I do. Okay. And, and I'm also looking at it from different angles. I look at it as that. If I'm the UFC, you couldn't ask for a bigger fight. I'm sorry. You could you need that Connor fight and then mixed in with the, the Patty Pimlet. Give me a bigger star at 155 pounds besides Islam Mahachev. At 155. Oh, Sarukian. No. You're saying the, Armand's as big a star as Patty Pimlet? I'm saying that the 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 fan base of the USC looks at Sarukian as a bigger as a bigger player right now than they look at Patty. But again, Patty wins a couple more fights. He's sitting there in the same element right there alongside of him. Okay. Okay. Um but in terms of who people would like to see more, who people would like to see fight more to fight to fight Conor McGregor. They're not going to tune in to watch Sarukian fight Conor McGregor. They'd rather watch Patty do it. They Just would because Sarukian would take him down and but they would also, but they would tune in. They would tune in as much though to watch Islam fight Connor because of the bad belief with yeah, Habib and with, all that. Because that and Habib, yeah, they would tune in for that. So, yeah. uh, but what your take is that you're thinking he's talking about Chandler. How do you think that fight goes if it was Chandler? Uh, once again, I look at that fight and I think on the feet, uh, Chandler's going to have some issues against Patty. Patty's long. 
Yeah, you know, you, know, you, you could tell he was much bigger than Bobby, mm. Bobby Green in that fight, and you could, it, there was a notable size difference. He's got a lot bigger reach. He is a, he's a rangy fighter. He's not easy to touch. But if you look in comparison, style wise, Bobby's style is completely obviously different than everyone's. But Chandler is very similar to a guy that gave Patty some problems in Jared Gordon. Hmm. He's a guy that comes forward. He's a guy that's pretty linear and he throws big shots and he bounces in and out. And that seemed to cause Patty a little bit of disruption, a little bit of trouble. You know, he may be, he may have fixed those issues and you know, knows how to deal with it now where he had a little bit of problems in the past. But the wrestling of Chandler, if he uses it, would be something that would give Patty problems because Michael is not easy to submit. He's been submitted once in his career, and that was against Dustin Poirier. And he's been against some very good submission fighters. I'm not saying that Patty's not good, but he's been with guys that are even better in the submission game and done very well. So... I look and, you know, broken nose, everything that happened in the Poirier fight, getting the rear naked choke, you can't, you know, that that all comes together. It makes sense. But Patty's going to have a hard time submitting Chandler, and he's got a hard time being the guy in the top position. My farm needs the earth, the air, and the water. I get my energy going on Element Electrolyte Drink Mix. Clean, good-tasting energy that feeds me like I feed my plants and animals. And after a long day on the tractor... When it's time to shoot the podcast, I drink elements so that I can stay energized and stay salty. Let's get it on. This is true. Can he, he, he can stuff Chandler's takedowns because Chandler never shoots, so he doesn't have to worry about that either. <laughs> it's so okay. there's that, and then he can use his reach and his range to his advantage. He's got to be careful yes. for the lunging in the first part of the fight and the first part of every round also when Chandler's big shot. refreshed. But if I'm looking at these rankings properly, you got Patty at number 15. RDA doesn't give him a big enough jump. No, neither does Jalen Turner, who's number 13. Uh, St. Denise. He doesn't want to fight Jalen Turner. Yeah, he does, just the style doesn't make sense for him. Yeah. And then St. Denise, I wouldn't have him fight him either. He's just tough and gritty. And, and Dan Hooker's a good matchup if the Moicano fight doesn't happen. So, I thought, I'm being honest, I thought the call-out by Patty of Hanato Moicano was brilliant. Yeah. I thought it was a fantastic call-out. It puts him up a big step if he gets that fight and he gets the win. Mm -hmm. And it's against a guy that's going to help sell that fight, a guy that talks and talks his ass off. And I, I love what he says all the time. He's funny as hell. So I thought that was a great call-out. Hopefully the UFC follows his advice. I think they will because they know that both of them will be able to sell the fight. Yeah. You know, I also like, like I said, I like the Dan Hooker fight as well. And they're number 10 and number 11. So those two guys being in the mix, they're right kind of back to back. So if one doesn't work, the other one works. And they're both yep. shaped to kind of make a good fight for, for Patty Pimlet. Then the next fight's up. If I was to go after that, I mean, they all get tough after that. You got Fazid that's still in there. I'm not going to even put Max Holloway in the talk because he's number nine, but I'm not going to put him in there. Um, 145. And then you've got Benil Dariush. I don't know if that's a good fight for him. Maybe right now, only because he is getting a little bit older. Then you got Chandler, Dustin, Gaethje, and then Oliveira and Sarukian. I got to be honest, man. After the Moicano and Dan Hooker fight, your best bet is probably a Chandler or a Dariush because once you get to Gamrot and Poirier and Gaethje and Oliveira, <laughs> it's... And, 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 yeah, and, yeah. and. Yeah, but look, I, I, got, I said this before. He is somebody that... Something switched, I think, to him. Like he said, he was going through some mental health stuff, some issues. He got married. He's happy. Uh, like I, these yep. are all things. He said he had mental health issues, like literally, like a month before the fight. And I'm like, how? How is this possible? It's because now you're getting away from the honeymoon phase of being married and having to jump back into a camp and the responsibilities of having to provide for your wife and providing for your True. family and creating a True. home and that's a True. lot of pressure. And he, that is. he looked the best he'd ever looked, though. So I'm assuming he's someone that rides us to the pressure because he looked damn good. And, um, you know, and we're going to find out as, as things move on. But I like the Moicano fight. Then I like the, the Dan Hooker fight, either one of those. Jump him up to maybe a Dariush or Chandler after that. And then in hopes that because we've already seen the Poye and Gaethje and Oliveira fight so many times for the title, you possibly throw him in there. I really believe that if the UFC wants to capitalize, 
if he beats Moicano and he beats like someone like a, a Chandler or a, a Dariush, you go right to you go right to Conor McGregor. It's the that would be the dumbest thing not to do if you want to capitalize on the biggest pay that you're going to get probably in 2024, 2025, whatever it is. They can't get Conor in the game. I know, I, I get yeah. it, but I'm simply saying like I, I'm just saying if you're gonna if you're gonna have to choose John between Michael Chandler and Conor and Patty Pimlet and Conor, I'm taking the Patty Pimlet Conor fight all day long. Okay, all day long. Yeah. Cash out. Cha ching. <laughs> Cha ching. If you're in the UK. I think it's a brilliant call and one that would just absolutely rake in the money, you know, for that fight. Just the the build up to it would be fantastic absolutely. because I want to see how many times Patty Pimlet calls Conor McGregor a scouser. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Conor's going to go, "Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Who the fuck is Who that, the fuck guy? Are that guy?" Yeah. We're going to find out. We'll see how it all plays out uh, once Connor gets healthy and uh, what's next for Patty. He's got to get past those other guys, though. He's got to get past a Dan Hooker or a, or a Moicano. Love the call out as well. I'm with you on that, John.